and we're back. For those of you who missed my Instagram post, I have quit working at the hospital. I'm just gonna dive into this to why. So stay tuned. So as a little recap, last May, I started applying for jobs and I really wanted to work at the hospital and I had got my CNA and I remember my CNA instructor telling us that pretty much you have to work several years in like assisted living facilities and stuff before you can qualify to work at the hospital, like they require lots of experience. I was just really not in the mood to work at an assisted living facility. So, I just decided to apply to 13 different jobs at the hospital. And I actually got my third one. So, not so bad if I say so myself. And it was super exciting. And the reason it was such a big deal was that if we rewind months and months prior, it was right after my surgery, I was doing lots of physical therapy and stuff to build up the strength to get a job because that was kind of my next step. I was working on graduating high school and catching up on all my classes after being hospitalized several times and I was working my butt off to do enough physical therapy to get a job because I didn't want to be back in life. I wanted to be able to move out in August with all my peers and start going to college and all that stuff. I wanted to be able to just kind of catch up and not really be behind socially, if you will. It took several months, October up till May, before my physical therapist or my doctor gave me permission to start applying for jobs. That's kind of like when I finally was given approval to do that kind of stuff. And obviously I just decided to go hit the ground running and work at the hospital. So when I first started working at the hospital, I would do three 12 hour night shifts in a row. And then I'd spend the remaining four days off just like recovering, sleeping, trying to work out and doing all these things so I'd be able to go back to work that next week. So I would pretty much spend all of my time off working to go back to work. So work was pretty much my whole life. So that whole summer I was just working and then recovering and then working and then recovering because I was like dedicated to keeping the job and becoming a normal person. So come August I was good enough at not having to spend all my days off recovering. I was able to finally kind of balance my life again. So once August came I moved out and after that for a few months I was balancing work and adulting and like work and buying groceries and making my own food and doing all those kind of things. Um, so I took a semester off to just kind of slowly like incorporate things and slowly adjust. So first I got a job and then I got a job and moved out. And then after living on my own wasn't as intense on me anymore and it wasn't as big of a deal. That next semester I also added going to school. So I was moved out, I had a job, I was going to school. I felt like I had kind of slowly introduced these things enough that I was doing all right. But the spring semester started in January and I was doing pretty good. Adulting on my own, going to school, working full time, night shifts. I mean, honestly, I was, I was doing all right. I felt pretty good about myself. I obviously like hardly ever made videos or posted um, because I was so busy and I loved being busy and I loved working and I loved school. Things were going good. And then around March, I started to get some more symptoms than I usually had. I started to be a lot more tired after work and I got more dizzy, I blacked out more, I, my blood with pooling was really bad and I was like, no, 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 not happening. I was definitely going through denial because, like I said, I was just so happy with what I was doing at the time. Then come April, things were going, getting a bit worse, and honestly, I just remember being miserable like that entire month, because not only were my symptoms getting worse and I was sicker and weaker, but I was also going through finals, 
and I was just completely miserable like the entire month. Not to mention I was still working full time, three to four shifts a week, nights, 12 hours long, and I was definitely gritting my teeth about the idea of quitting because I'd been thinking about it since like early March and I wasn't really ready to give up everything that I've worked for. And then come May, I made it official and I put in my two weeks and I was super sad about it because I loved my patients and I loved what I did and I loved my coworkers so much and I have honestly become really good friends with them. And I had been working there for a freaking year. So I honestly was just dreading my last day because my job was pretty much my life outside from school. Like all my friends were from work. I didn't really have a lot of friends outside of work. And leaving work meant leaving all of that and leaving um, the fun that I had at work and all of that. But despite what I wanted, I knew that it was time to listen to my body because in the past when I hadn't listened to my body, I ended up getting even more sick and hospitalized. And that's not fair to me to put myself through that again. It's not fair to me to have patience when I wasn't feeling so good because they need someone they can count on. So I guess what I've learned a lot recently is that you can't, everyone says that you can do anything you set your mind to or you can do this and you can do that. And in a way, I totally agree with that, but in another way, it's not always a smart idea. I think it's really important to learn your boundaries, know when it is a good time to call quits. Just because I quit working at the hospital doesn't make me a quitter. That is something that I keep having to remind myself. I'm honestly really heartbroken over it. I've cried a lot over it. I was finally a normal person again. I was finally working. I was finally not only providing for myself, but then helping other people who were sick in the hospital. I was finally living the dreams that I'd been having for the longest time. And then I had to throw all that away. But at the same time, I am so grateful that I was blessed with the opportunity to have that for so long. The whole situation in general is a miracle. And the fact that I was able to keep it up for an entire year and incorporate moving out and incorporate going to school is honestly just incredible all on its own and I need to remember that. I will forever be grateful to my coworkers for the environment they made for me and for how they took me in and loved me. For the first time in years, I felt like just a normal person when I was around them. I wasn't sick, I wasn't brittle, I wasn't special, I wasn't weird, I wasn't different, I wasn't any of those things. I was just a coworker, I was a teammate, I was just one of them. I was an ordinary person and I freaking loved it. So even though this is a sad note and even though I did have to leave all that, I'm just grateful that I was able to have it in the first place. That was honestly one of the healthiest, happiest years of my life. And I don't regret anything. I have so many good memories. I am just sad to see it go, but I'm also excited to see what the next chapter of life brings me. So as of right now, my goal is to just exercise, rest. My sleeping schedule has been murdered. I can't wake up earlier than noon. I can't go to sleep earlier than one or two in the morning. No matter what day of week it is, it's just, it's awful. And I know that's a huge thing when it comes to chronic illness and energy and all that. It has literally been a week since my last shift. Today marks one week. And I honestly feel like I've just thrown my whole life away and I'm just like a hopeless person. But I have been working really hard at keeping my sleeping schedule or turning it back to a normal one. It kills me not to just sleep all day or take naps throughout the day. And it kills me trying to sleep before like 10 o'clock at night. I'm just tossing and turning. My mind finally wakes up then and it doesn't wake up until at least noon. I'm pretty much a zombie as of right now, but I'm getting there. It'll be okay. But yeah, so I'm just, I'm just learning the importance of putting myself first and taking care of myself. I'm gonna just kind of take a week or two and figure everything out. Hopefully build back the, the pieces that have been broken and eventually obviously get another job. I'm hoping to still be able to live on my own and still be able to work full time. 
it's it's been fun and that is honestly the craziness is what I've loved about it but it's also the one thing that my body just can't handle right now so I'm sad to see it go but we'll see what this next chapter brings me